Welcome to the Climate Catastrophes channel. Typhoon Darksur hits China, killing 11 people so far. The death toll in torrential rains and floods has risen to more than 11, for example, 19 people are also missing in Beijing and under such rescue. Delivering food and supplies to rail passengers standard forecasters have warned of the potential for more flooding and landslides. Dramatic rescue scenes in that city deal with torrential rain since Saturday. It caused widespread flooding. After the super typhoon Dark Syrian hit China last week, at least 11 people have been killed. Roads were flooded, thousands of people were forced to leave their homes, and it didn't end with that, because there was another hurricane. About 50,000 people have been evacuated so far. The latest figures suggest that although those numbers are taking some time to compile accurately, Perhaps as many as 20 people are now missing or fear death. As a result, Beijing will need to say President Xi Jinping of China basically wants him to have the emergency services and so on do their best to try and work this out. And they have already started allocating emergency funds to try to clean things up. But it may take a while yet there is still rain expected for the next few days. But as you say this is the result of Hurricane Lazari. It started with one typhoon from the Pacific Ocean about two or three weeks ago. It rolled across the northern Philippines killing dozens of people. Hit the southeastern coast of China. Tornadoes usually break up, but they fizzle out, but this typhoon that continued for another 2,000 kilometers across China seemed to hit Beijing with quite sudden force. The Philippines tends to get hit the most even in a good typhoon season, as they say when there aren't many typhoons and this is the third pipe boom hit the mainland of China in the past two weeks. And a, usually they tend to hit the Philippines first. Taiwan has also been hit by this as well. The it's very difficult to say whether any particular typhoons being caused by a global warming or climate change. That's the way it has a lot of governments now are considering things and the reason is that they're preparing for the worst or at least getting worried that the worst might be on its way and things are going to get worse. And the typhoon, typhoon season will be longer. The storms will be more extreme and as he was saying just now, there's already another typhoon forming up out there in the Pacific Ocean. It's already affecting Okinawa, one of the southernmost island of Japan, and it does continue its current track and they do wait around. Collectively, it might hit Shanghai, which is China's biggest city and it's a business economic industrial powerhouse. Not so unusual for China, but unusual for Beijing. I mean, the South China gets hit by the typhoon several times a year. And the authorities there are more accustomed to it so they're able to move people around with you and they need to live there also used to it. Now Beijing has seen this type of thing, but not with the same frequency. And that's why when the speed of this came along with this gushing brown waters, build up rivers which haven't been done about that more for decades and people don't want to take photos but what have you and next thing you know their car into the river or in front of them. You can understand why people aren't just they're not used to it. They're not accustomed to this type of thing. Officials didn't warn residents to stay indoors in Beijing that on employers not to make your staff go to work. And yet it has still been deadly in this city and tens of millions of people live here so it is very difficult to manage. When an emergency like this when flooding rains strike the city was not used to it.
These scenes were captured by drone to see the entire city and the damage caused by the hurricane. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel.